This is Florida Natural Farming at Frog Valley Tropical Fruit Farm. And today I wanted to talk about um, fungal diseases on mango blooms. And it's with all the advances in molecular biology, um, it just, the information coming out is just, it's so much that it's hard to keep up with. But one thing that I see is that the old ways of call, looking for a product to apply are so basic and wrong. So when you're always looking for a product to fix your problem, you're just conditioned by marketing. And it's kind of a quorum sensing that you have, that you are programmed to look for a product rather than look for a solution. And with medical marijuana and all the essential oils and aromatherapy and all that stuff it's really put a focus on how to grow plants better for me as medicine basically so on these so plants get their nutrients from the soil so in the root zone of the plants is the most biologically populated area of the soil. Um, the plants excrete carbon sugars that attract microbes and the fungi deliver the microbes and the water to the plant's root zone. Then the plants uptake the microbes <clears throat> and the fungi as endophytes into their cell walls. And in these cell walls, the cells of the leaves have trichomes on them. So outside, I imagine they're in the roots too. So the, the yeah, because the, the trichomes are at the root, the root hairs, basically. And, but the leaves of these plants Have trichomes, so it's like a three-dimensional. Mm, uh, it's like a leaf microbe microbe architecture. So these trichomes are in the cells are are in on the leaves. They look like uh, three-dimensional um, platforms, basically, and these. Trichomes uh, run off biological minerals, biominerals, they call them. So calcium carbonate and calcium phosphate is from animals and calcium carbonate and um, there's another one. What is it? I'll think of it. But anyway, they silica silica comes from the plants and the most silica comes in grass roots so there's these three uh, uh, bio minerals that are on the leaves of healthy mango trees I got some little fruits forming. This tree always puts out so much fruit, I'm not even worried about it. So these trichomes on the leaves are where the biominerals are, and the, the, they are thinking that the trichomes, well, they're, they've discovered that the trichomes on the leaves are 
the bacteria in the cell walls of the trichomes uh, fix nitrogen from the air and deliver it to the plant. But there are also all the trichomes, they're thinking all the um, phenolic, the plant enabling and human enabling phenols and, you know, uh, uh, all the stuff that's good in marijuana is in the trichomes. So for some reason, agriculture likes to have a product to kill diseases, which is caused by their management practice. So how they manage in for mangoes, how they manage their orchard floor. So if you have a lot of grass and weeds and stuff growing in your orchard floor, you have a lot of biology and you have a lot of silica. So you have the biology to form the trichomes in your plant. And if you use animal manures, you get the calcium phosphate. So you have all three bio minerals working to build trichomes that produce phenolic compounds when they're triggered by stressors to help the plant fix itself naturally. But when you're programmed to think that somebody's gonna produce a spray for you or a fertilizer for you, it's a product that you have to use because you're mismanaging your orchard floor and the health of your tree. So spraying your flower buds and leaves is a sure way to, especially with the stuff they use on mangoes that like is a, it's like, a, it's like giving antibiotics to a cancer victim and thinking it's gonna cure them. It's just, all this stuff is so fascinating. It's just mind boggling how far we've come so quickly in our knowledge. And it was mostly because of the medicinal marijuana. The food is medicine. Because the research follows the money. I mean, that's how they've come up with products. They sequence the, the, the fungi on the leaf tissue of the mango and find the or on the leaf tissue, because they do all the tests on market gardens generally. So they do a market garden and they, they find the uh, fungi that was at a, thousands of fungi that actually kills the fungi that they've tr identified as their enemy, the, the powdery mildew. And then they make a product of that. And then they spray it all over the leaf of the tree, which is totally going to disrupt the natural cycles of the trichomes on the leaf. Because that's what it does. It works for market gardens because they only live 90 days. But when you're talking about a tree that lives, can live, well, in Florida, they've developed ways to turn basically long-lived perennial trees into basically tree annuals. So rather than living 75 years, they only live 15. That's not progress. <clears throat> Watch this fascinating uh, lecture by Mr. White. It was like on my watch videos on um, you know, the rising phase of each cycle, which everyone knows, the uptake of nutrients from the root zone from with the root hairs into the plant. And then they oxidize those bacteria with superoxides. And it r removes the cell wall of the bacteria so that the plant can just suck them up. As nutrients move around, 
they move. Stuff moves through the soil. That's what you want. Anyway, I just want to do a little short video on <clears throat> that because I think it's important that people know that the tree of their, their health of their tree, the health of their mango tree. Let me go look at the uh, raw sapote fruit while I'm here. Depends on the health of their soil, how they're managing it. <clears throat> oh yeah, we did get fruit set on this raw sapote. See the fruit? Come on, get clear. So I was always afraid to just come out and say that this is a superior way to the wood chips or the, um, or the, um, you know, the orchard floor like this is a superior way to the wood chips or the taking everything out and just planting a select group of plants into your system and not letting not not disturbing the soil because it's like you go against everyone and it like they intimidate you then try to make you force you to do it their way by using derogatory names for basically all this medicinal herbs that grow in our orchard floor by calling it all weeds because they really can't figure out the processes involved to grow a tree or they refuse to look at the information that's coming out and instead look to the television or a chemical salesman on how to prevent fruit loss in your mangoes. just disturbing <clears throat> how manipulative uh, people can be to make a dollar and how destructive it's been to our health and to the health of our our environment and the health of our food that we eat I know that our food is medicine here <clears throat> So those trichomes, that's, you know, that's all your uh, polyphenols and plant beneficial VOCs is what they are. Phytochemicals. We don't have to worry about spraying. We get lots of mangoes. And it seems like the majority of the trees the mango trees that I've been able to see in Florida that are left alone tend to be pretty healthy. I think Americans just had too much money, more money than brains, and um, that need for money just drove them to try to brainwash everyone into not thinking. And somehow they infested our schools for a long time. But the truth is getting out there. If you need to be told not to use a product because it, it destroys aquatic life, and kills earthworms. That product should probably be banned. It's a lot of these uh, new uh, fungicides. Yeah, they they call them organic, but they destroy aquatic life. And if it's destroying aquatic life and it's destroying earthworms. That's the canary in the coal mine, people. Don't be fooled.
by the flashy product and fancy salesmen they have. It's about manure and letting nature into your orchard floor. And that's pretty much all you have to know, I think. Yesterday's video, or the other day I made a video and I was going to talk about the product that I developed that seemed to like trigger everything. And it was a, cause I make a lactobacillus spray, which is the way that you get from making cheese. You can look it up online. Um, but I would sprinkle uh, uh, a little pinch of dirt, like a, a, a pinch, like a little, a tiny little bit at the beginning of the process. For, you know, from around our biggest tree, healthiest tree. And then I started making uh, yeast, a wild le collecting a wild yeast. So you basically get flour and you like set it with a loose fitting lid and add some water to it. Uh, we have calcium carbonate infused water here. And, um, but I also would sprinkle a little, uh, just a tiny little pinch of dirt and put it into my, my wild yeast, my sourdough yeast. And then I made it with a, like a weed tea. A weed tea that I made from a sink weed, the C-I-N-C-H. It's a super photosynthesizer, like a C4, is that what it is, photosynthesizer? Um, and then I mixed that with my like roots and my compost and my bokashi leachate and my um, the sourdough yeast I mixed with all the other stuff and I mixed them all together. And I just, I don't know, after I used that, after I'd been spraying all this stuff for like seemed like years so that I hate full year, doing full year sprays now. Um, that seemed to awaken stuff in my soil in my in in my yard now we get earthworms that like go across our driveway and die halfway between where we never had earthworms so you kind of need those earthworms so those like fungal organic fungal sprays you use probably are not a good idea we don't need to buy products that's what it comes down to we need to have clean animal manures and urine put back into the system. That's what it is. That's all it is. <clears throat> These products are developed for nurseries, which are filthy disease ridden areas because they, the way they grow their plants, they don't have to be that way, but they are just by the chemicals they use. The plants are going to have disease kind of have to have the trichomes in the tree in order to for your tree not to have disease Anyway, I just found that interesting, the whole trichome. Um, trichomes on the leaves of the trees. Coated with bacteria in their cell walls. Oh good, I was worried about the trees not having a 100% bloom, but... <laughs> 